I'm tired, yet I'm still excited about tomorrow. I wasn't myself today, yet my family was patient with me. Just simple, simple examples of how that, how that works. You see, using yet this way has the ability to connect a negative part of your statement to a positive in such a way that the negative portion of the statement is overtaken by the emphasis in the latter part. Y'all with me? I don't want to lose you because this is important. Somebody said, say it again. Okay, I will. I should have made a slide for this. Using yet this way has the ability to connect a negative to a positive in such a way that the negative portion of the statement is overtaken by the emphasis in the latter part of the statement. That's why it's literally called nevertheless. What you're about to say is never less than what just took place. Hallelujah. Okay. So, so, so let, let me, this, is why, this is why Job, who is so beaten down and battered by life and everything that has taken place, that he has broken pots and he's scratching the boils that has broken out on his skin. He's just scratching the boils on his life. All these, th these crazy, crazy and chaotic things have happened in Job's life. And Job, even his I never forget this. Job's wife looked at him and said, I can't stand the breath of you. And she wasn't saying, your breath stink, brush your teeth. She was saying, I can't stand the fact that you're still breathing. And that you got the nerve to use the breath that you still have to praise God that allowed all this stuff to happen. Curse God and die. And look what Job, my God, look what he says in Job 13 verse 15. We say it all the time, but you got to put it in perspective. Though he slay me, yes. nevertheless, what I'm getting ready to say is not less than what I just said. Yes, he slays me. Yes, I'm going through some stuff. Yes, I'm going through the refining fires of life. Yes, there are some stuff that God will bring me through to make me better, to make me strong, and to be a testimony for other people that go through some stuff. But what I'm getting ready to say is never less than what I just said. Though he slay me, nevertheless, I will trust. I will trust him. The I will trust him is never less than the though he slays me. It overpowers the negative aspect of the statement. One word. Yet will I trust him. I wonder if you've got a nevertheless in your spirit this morning. I wonder if you have a yet. Yeah, though he slay me. Don't let the story end there. There's a whole lot of though he slay me Christians walking around. Though he slay me. Swing low. Sweet cherry. A whole lot of though he slay me Christians. And I'm telling you, this is a reality. There are unsaved people that are watching you. And you gotta understand, people that don't know Christ and are a little bit curious but still skeptic, they're watching you. And they see their friends, though they are dying on the inside, they don't have discernment yet because they're not saved. All they see is their friends walking into the club, hey, hey. And they see you swing low. Hey, hey, sweet chariot. Coming forth. I don't know why I'm singing that song. It just works, whatever. But you're walking around as a though he slay me Christian. And then when he breaks through in your life, like he did for Job, tenfold everything that was lost, you still walking around. Don't give your problem all the praise. Nevertheless, I will trust him. Nevertheless, I will praise him. Go back to those same people that saw you struggling and tell them about what God has done. Include them in your yet. Yeah. Though he slay me, 
Job didn't stop there. There's no period there. Yet will I trust him. The same way you should get into the habit of throwing around more yets in your life to connect a fact to a reality. You ought to throw around some more yets in your life that connect your negatives to God's positives. Got a whole lot of negatives happening in your life. Whole lot of negatives. Yeah, this happened, that happened, the other happened. And then like we said last week, you go into the problem Olympics with somebody and you tell them your problem and they, they back you up with another problem. And then you say, oh yeah, well let me tell you about this problem. And they say, oh, you got no idea. And they tell you, and you're going back and forth. Waiting in your problems in the problems Olympics and nobody throws out a yet. It's like it's stricken from your vocabulary. No, start connecting those negatives to God's positives in your life. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 20 through 22. This is referring to God's wrath over sinful Jerusalem. The prophet says this, I will never forget this awful time. That's a negative. I'll never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss. Anybody ever been there? Man, this pain hurts so bad. I'm never going to forget this. I'm not going to forget this. I'm not going to. I'm going to remember. I'm going to remember this. I'll never forget this awful, awful time as I grieve over my loss. Yet, I still dare to hope when I remember this. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. His mercies never cease. Yet, nevertheless, I'm going to remember this painful time. Yet, nevertheless, oh God, I dare, I dare to rejoice in my God. I dare to put my hope in God. And what I'm saying right now is never less than what I said before. It's more important. It's more powerful. In fact, that yet causes what you just said to overpower everything that preceded it. There's a yes in your spirit. Matthew chapter 6, verse 26, one of my favorite scriptures. It says, look at the birds of the air. They don't know what they're doing. They're not thinking about anything. They're not thinking about reaping and sowing. They're not thinking about, they're not thinking about any of that. They just eat and chirp and go to sleep and lay eggs. Though they do not sow or reap, or store away in barns, and yet, and yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Nevertheless, your Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Even God has a yet that he wants you to focus on as it pertains to you. Nevertheless, I care about you more than any of my creation. Please understand that in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away. Period. No. No. Though out, outwardly, let me get the, is that the New King James? Uh, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly. Nevertheless, Inwardly, we are being renewed day by day for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. I'm wasting away. The problems of this world have me feeling like I'm just wasting away. Yet, nevertheless, I'm focused on the truth and the promise of God in my life. There's a yet in the atmosphere today listen to me this morning every time you're going through don't just connect his truth to your reality but overcome your negative with god's positive overcome the negative portions and and for some of y'all y'all are thinking well it's not even just a sentence it's my whole life the whole, my whole life up to this point has been one trial after the other, after the other, after the other, all the way to this point. And now here comes this preacher looking you in your face in the middle of your storm and saying there's a yet that will overpower every negative thing that has happened in your life. 
There is a yet that will overcome that. I, I am, am here to tell you that you can say, I'm frustrated, yet I have the joy of Christ dwelling on the inside of me as an option. I don't have to walk in my sorrow for my entire life. I don't have to walk defeated in my, for my entire life. I don't have to walk being triggered by everything around me, by something that has occurred in my past, because there's a yet that God is calling me to hold on to. I, my life has been a struggle, yet my God is going to break through in my life that is really I doubt it yet God remained faithful I'm scared yet God has always been a strong tower for me some of y'all need to start using more yet's in your life yet's in your household yet's in your relationships yes in the workplace yes in your marriage start using more yet's all over the place connect the promises of God to the facts and the reality of your life there is a yet in the atmosphere this morning and y'all can stand there looking at me like I'm crazy if you want to but I'm walking in my yet yeah.